and today is Freedom Day <laughs> from your filing system. I know that filing may not be the funnest thing for you, but this is where a lot of the structures begin. We have our uh, digital filing systems, we have our desktop filing systems, and once we create the, the system that works for us, everything gets so much easier because you'll know exactly what to do with things that come across your desk, things that come through your email, things that are sent to you, attachments, uh, anything that you're working on. Without that system, it's just a jumbled mess. So we're going to take you from this to this in today's challenge. So it all starts with this. <laughs> this is my uh, where everything begins. This is sits on my desk, and anything that comes through either the mail and this is this is your home office. So it's your home and your office. So anything that comes through uh, the mail that I need to deal with, either file or take action on or something comes through this file. So let me show it to you. It's just a wire mesh. Um, everything is amazing. I got that from a friend, Nicole Dean. <laughs> and so it's just a container that you can get at any store. And the most important folder here is this one. This is the inbox. So everything that comes in goes through here. So it's off my desk. It's not crammed in a drawer somewhere. Uh, once I've paid the bill or once I have received the information, this is where it goes, where it waits to be filed. It just depends on how often you want to file. It just depends on how much stuff you have. Usually, I'll let mine go for about quarter. So I'll put it on my quarterly task list. Send myself a re reminder or I just look, look at it. <laughs> That reminds me to do it. So everything goes into your inbox. Now when you're ready to do your filing, and what you're going to do is just, you're just going to go through it. And if you see anything that, uh, say that it was a homeowner policy that you renewed um, a month later and they had to send you an amendment. So the one preceding it, maybe it's still in here, that can be tossed. Uh, coupons. I love to, to save coupons, but sometimes they expire before I get to file them away. So what you can do is just do a quick run through to see if there's anything that needs to be tossed uh, and toss it. Now for the remaining items, what you're going to have to do is sort them. And if there's not a lot of information in here, then you can just go to your filing system and file it away. But what I have to do a lot is we've got four people in the household, plus pets, <laughs> so I have to kind of sort it um, into my system. Now I'm going to share with you that system next. I went through my inbox and it's time to file the papers. I guess I don't only pulled a few out, you guys. <laughs> Didn't do it all. So I just kind of have a few examples of what I, what I really wanted to show you. So this is the filing drawer. This is what you're aiming for. Everything has its place. Everything, you know where everything should go. No more guessing. And the way I have it set up is that the left hand side of the drawer are things that are replaceable. So think things that are replaced. Your car insurance policies are replaced. Your homeowner policy is replaced. So you get a new cell phone. You still have the cell phone, but maybe the carrier changed. Maybe you have uh, somebody cleaning your house and then they change. You still have somebody clean your house, so you, these are just changeable. The ones on the right with the red tags are things that are for the lifetime. So that is your medical records, car records, because it's for the lifetime of the car, pet records, lifetime of your pet. So for these examples, I have uh, two files for my dog. I've got homeowner policy packets that go under insurance, home, and we've got two homes, so I find the folder, uh, the one that I want to file. Now the great thing is that the one that's in there, you can throw away. There's no need to keep old insurance policies. 
So you take the old one out, put the new one in, and file it back away. So I had a home office renovation <laughs> earlier this year, and I used to have two filing drawers, and I had to kind of consolidate. So the things that are important to keep but they don't need to be, you know, this, this is stuff I'm in all the time. I'm always filing with uh, car paperwork and pet stuff and service providers and policies. There's a lot of other things that you might not touch. Old tax records, uh, old client files, you know, you just want to have a hard copy, save them for a while, then you're going to toss later on. Things that you've sold. Uh, one time we sold a trailer and two years later we were still getting uh, saying, hey, you still have property taxes on it. We had to go take the uh, paperwork back to them. So I tend to keep things a little bit longer than people would normally do it, but it's just in a, here's an example. It's in something like this. So you can put it in that store bin your folder out of, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. You don't need to keep it in your office space. So let me show you the secret to this system. It is called Freedom Filer. I love Freedom Filer. I'll put a link into the download sheet for today. But the beauty of it is, is that everything is color coded and it tells you what you need to do with it. Red means don't throw away. Yellow means toss when it's time. And you've got information for uh, medical expenses because it's tax year. So we've got even tax years and odd tax year. Sometimes you might not file until, say, March. Well, you don't want to just you know hurry up and throw all the other stuff away. That way you can kind of keep a rolling, rolling file system with your taxes. And then you can also break it up by the year. So there's lots of different ways you can set up your filing system with this. So on the desktop that I showed you, the uh, thing on the desktop, the only, thing that, the only things that go in there, and I'll show you here really quick, Freedom Filer also comes with these folders that are very handy to be on your desktop. So we've got bills to pay, waiting for a response, anything that's pending, current projects. This is for things like if I'm writing an article or I'm waiting for the or if I want to buy a jacuzzi, <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of saving that for later. Uh, reconcile receipts, calls, letters, outbox, coupons, and then reading. So back here is taxes. So that's all you need to do for your filing system. So there you have it. The secret to my success is the Freedom Filer. If you don't want to use the Freedom Filer, all you need to do is go to the store and get your container and you need to get some Pendaflex folders and regular manila folders and use your printer to print out the labels and you're all set.